Hey guys, Marco here. Hopefully you're all doing well. Today we're doing... <laughs> Today we're doing a little bit of an experiment. With what, you may ask? Film. For those who don't know, over the past eight years or so, film has become a defining part of my life. I love the different ways it connects to different people. I love the art and the technique behind it. And I even love the fact that you can just escape from your life for two hours. But what if instead of all these great qualities of film, we watch something that didn't quite have them? Stuff that only had the bad, the very bad. What if instead of escaping, we just went further down the rabbit hole. In the next 24 hours, I'm going to do the most insane movie marathon imaginable. I've hand-selected some of the worst movies I can think of, the ones no one in their right mind would ever choose to watch, and I'm going to watch as many of them as I can in 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to head further down the rabbit hole. So guys, it is just currently past 1, 1 14. So 1 15 tomorrow is when the challenge officially ends. To be honest, I procrastinated a lot this morning just cause I was like, I don't wanna do this, but we're gonna push ourselves. We're gonna, we're gonna step out of our comfort zone. And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna start with a doozy. I think we're gonna start with this guy. I have a list on my computer there of which ones to do and I kind of ordered them in terms of like what I think will be a little better and kind of space them out, but uh, we're getting right into it. <laughs> God, he's ready to go and set up. <sighs> I know once I click the button, it officially starts. So I'm delaying the process for as long as I can, but I feel like I've done it long enough. So here we go. Like that, I became a made man. So what has happened? Nothing's happened so far. Dude, they, <laughs> the filmmakers can't even pull focus properly. You can see them. together and we fall together this is the life <laughs> well gaudy is officially done the first of however many films i'll be able to fit into this and it was uh <laughs> it wasn't very good <laughs> But from the title of this video you guys already knew that i should have already known that like what was i expecting i i wasn't expecting what i watched let's just let's just say it like that and if this is a indicator of what the rest of the day is going to be i am in for a treat for your own sake and for my own sanity i'm not going to talk in depth about every single movie afterwards because then this video would be two hour long and uh, i would lose my mind so instead i'll keep these in-betweens kind of brief I'll post my actual reviews, like thorough stuff, or, you know, just me shooting the shit on Letterboxd. But yeah, if you're interested in that, help yourself. Link in the description. So time update, it's about 3.45. I'm gonna go out right now just to get some fresh air, go cut the grass, cause I gotta do that, and just to clear my mind from this. <laughs> this, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to call it. This film, we'll call it. <laughs> and then after that, we'll check out our next film. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. The grass is cut. Sun rays have been absorbed into my skin. I got myself my lunch. And we're ready for the second movie of this little marathon over here. I'm leaning in because we're getting serious now. This one I've actually seen before, um, unfortunately. <laughs> but considering I haven't seen it in so long and it practically ruined my childhood, I figured why not give it another shot. <laughs> so with all that said, Let's put on our broken glasses and uh, start movie number two. Woo! <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> All right, so that's the uh, that's the second movie of our marathon. That was Dragon Ball Evolution, and as a lifelong Dragon Ball Z fan, that one. <laughs> 
Whenever I watch it, whenever I talk about it, whenever I hear about it, it just hurts my soul. <laughs> People that aren't even fans of the franchise, it hurts their soul as well. It's like, yeah, everything about the movie sucks. The script sucks, which is the foundation to any good movie. The characters are absurd. The directing is nuts. But my biggest problem about this thing is that it moves at like 100 kilometers an hour. For things to get better, for things to get tastier, for food, for example, you have to marinate it. This movie, it's like people are talking, a scene ends, and then it cuts to them talking like halfway through their conversation. It's just insane. Can you tell that I'm already getting a little bit upset? We're two movies in and I'm already feeling the angst. How am I supposed to keep doing this? So at this point, we're a couple movies in, you're probably thinking to yourself, like, Marco, why why are you even doing this? <laughs> what is the point behind all of this? And and for a while, I think I thought the same to myself. It just, it, it, it sounds illogical. I, I, I get it. But I'm a firm believer in that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And, and the fact that to do some of that stuff sometimes that adds a little wear and tear to you, you have to step out of the comfort zone. But yeah, long story short, I'm doing this one to remind myself what good movies are, two, to strengthen myself, three, to see how much I can endure, and if all else fails, fourth reason, hopefully it'll entertain you. My suffering is your entertainment. <laughs> all right, movie number three. Killer who looks like a hero. Pray, pray. Oh. Guys, 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 guys. We're better than this. I'm better than this. <laughs> what baffles me though, man, is this is some of the Diplomacy. wackiest and craziest editing I've ever seen. Like, Diplomacy. incomprehensible at points. Diplomacy, 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 diplomacy. But yeah, we are, uh, we're three movies in, which in terms of like my longest marathon, I've probably done three or four, whether it be going to TIFF or like a sick day where I just watch movies all day. Uh, but this has been considerably harder just because every single one, <laughs> You know, there's nothing to look forward to. You know, if you do the Lord of the Rings marathon or the Harry Potter marathon, you know, you're looking forward to stuff. Harry Potter, you're looking forward to Goblet of Fire, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, the last one, they're all great. This, I can't look for, I can look forward to when this is done. That is the light at the end of the tunnel, guys. But yeah, anywho, enough stalling. We're gonna, we're gonna go work out and watch the next one. So here's me thinking to myself, which movie should I watch next? Because obviously they're all gonna be bad, but at least I get to pick my poison, you know? I feel like the first three tracks tried to be really good movies, and then they really failed. You know, Gotti tried to be a crime thriller like Godfather Goodfellas. Dragon Ball Evolution tried to be some cool comic book superhero movie. And Mile 22 tried to be The Raid. So for this next one, if I'm gonna pick a bad movie, I'm gonna pick a bad movie that knows it's a bad movie. Instead, we're gonna watch something that is quite literally a disaster. I am Iron Man. <laughs> and this is my baby's foot. Disaster movie. All right, so it's about one o'clock in the morning. That's been officially about 12 hours since I started this. As for that movie, that was probably the worst one I've seen yet. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> I said prior that I wanted something to make me laugh and I laughed very few times and what I did for all the wrong reasons just insane that that movie exists <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna lose my mind I'm probably gonna try to do one more before the night ends because as much as I would love to pull an all-nighter uh, these movies are making me lose my sanity and I feel like I need at least a decent sleep. <laughs> and thankfully I have a cup of tea to uh, warm my broken and beat up mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to expect with this next one, but I can almost guarantee you it won't be worse than what I just watched. There is really only going up from here. <laughs> at least let's hope. I'm gonna lose my job, my son, my life. Take a cookie for the road. I love your mother's cookies. <gasps> oh, I don't 
don't know what to say. I honestly don't. My eyes feel like they're bleeding. I don't think that. Do I? Do I even know? <sighs> mm. I, that, I can't even speak, man. <laughs> Compliment wise, that actually kind of felt like a movie. Like it actually had kind of a story, even though it sucked. <laughs> Oh, it's just insane. And then it just ends. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Screw this. Good night. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm going to bed. Screw this. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the morning. It is currently about 1220, which means I have about an hour hour and a half maybe or so left in this challenge so that's room for one more movie i could have waken up a little bit earlier but today i just decided to sleep in make myself a nice breakfast just relax for a bit because if anything i deserved it from yesterday <laughs> watching not only five movies in one day made my eyes want to fall from my head but the fact that they were bad ones like my body was deteriorating but also my mind and my soul <laughs> so yeah for my mental sanity and my mental health i decided i was gonna take the morning off maybe just do the one six movies in 24 hours still ain't that bad so so yeah let's uh crack on the final one i got my chips i got my guac let's put the nail in the coffin baby i'm ready for this to be done i'm going to be a master of disguise i'm going to be a master of disguise i'm going to yeah. be a no 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 my son your destiny is here okay Remember me? Guys, help me. <laughs> the master of disguise. There it is. The timer's officially done. I'm done with this. Never again. Never again. This is a horrible idea. Absolutely horrible idea. I don't know if that was the best or the worst one. It's probably both. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. The funny thing is, I told you guys kind of why I was doing this, or tried to explain it. And in my intro thing, I was talking about like going further down the rabbit hole. Now at this point, I don't know. Film can be and has been this great escape for people. In the 1930s, during the Great Depression, people went to the cinema. The cinemas flourished because they wanted to get away from that. Mind you, the time at the cinema was better than their real life, so it worked. This, my life, I could be outside right now, riding my bike, kicking the soccer ball around. I could be doing anything else, really. <laughs> and it would be better than what I just did. I am never doing this ever again. It was a bad idea. And we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but I'm a firm believer in that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Just, oh, I need to watch some good stuff. But I'm a firm believer. After doing the math, that was nine hours of torture. What doesn't kill you. Yeah, don't, don't try this for yourself. <laughs> makes you stronger. Did I, okay, okay, let's stop being negative for just a sec. Did I learn anything? What did I learn? If anything, I've learned to appreciate better films. You know, when you see the bottom of the barrel, you appreciate everything else. <laughs> I think every now and again, you have to watch a shit movie to remind yourself what a good movie is. Just don't do it like this. Like, this many and this short amount of time is insanity. <laughs> Cross out Albert Einstein's definition of insanity and put Marco watches six bad movies in 24 hours. That's the definition of insanity. But yeah, I'm I'm done with this. I'm, I'm, <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you've stuck around this long. <laughs> I don't blame you if you haven't. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, I'm Marco Pereira. Ah, oh, ciao for now. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. Never. Ever. This was a stupid idea. A stupid idea.